Let's go back to one of your questions, shall we? Let's go to Rio from Valencia, California. How does undisputed, um, uh, uh, excuse me, and undisputed show differ when there is a, a live audience? Now that is a very good question. Rio, for me, live audience undisputed are my Super Bowls. I love those live moments in ways you can't even imagine because they are made for me and my personality and my nature. And obviously, thanks to this pandemic, I have not experienced one of those moments for two whole years since the Fox Super Bowl, San Francisco versus Kansas City on Miami Beach. Were those ever great shows? We had such a great set built. We had a little village, like a little city that Fox built there right on South Beach. It was special, man. They mean so much to me because what happens is if there's no coronavirus, we're sitting here five miles from so fine stadium. We'd be on site somewhere, I don't know, nearby restaurant, we'd be somewhere. I don't know where we'd be, but we'd be out and about with Undisputed this week. And we would have had all Rams fans Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, and then all of a sudden, Thursday, Friday, here would come the Bengals fans. And they would chant against each other. They would try to out-shout each other. And I feed off that. I'm not sure my former partner, Stephen A., or current partner, Shannon, love that sort of vibe, but, but I just feed off it in a crazy way because by nature, I can be a little introverted, but if you put me out in front like that, the energy of it just fuels me, and I give it back to them, and they give it back to me, and I thrive on it for two and a half hours and I probably get too loud and a little too crazy and maybe a little too over the edge, but it is what I live for on this show. I wish somehow we could have a live studio audience every day, but it's just too hard to get people out at 6.30 in the morning. We're live at 6.30 Pacific time every day. And so in the pandemic, we wind up with skeleton crew we're still in masks everywhere at Fox. It's great. It's fine. Very careful. But we have one camera operator. We used to have three. It seemed like we might have had four. But we have one now. And speaking of skeleton crew, it feels like death warmed over in the studio. It's just so deadly quiet in there. It's hard to get your energy up. You have to generate your own. So to me... Those crowds, the, what, what I've, I've experienced back on South Beach at a restaurant in 2013, ahead of those Spurs Heat games, ugh, off the charts. And ugh, we, we went to Denver, packed a bar, downtown Denver ahead of Tim Tebow versus Tom Brady in Denver. Remember that game? Brady smoked him. But you want to talk about decibels? You want to talk about energy? I I'm wiped out after those shows in a great way. And then people hanging from the rafters in Houston before the All-Star game, All-Star NBA game, was, was just captivating for me. We, we had people upstairs, the hard rock, hanging, in, in, like sitting on, on the cross ties upstairs. It, it was unbelievable. And I, I can give you 20, 30 of those that we don't have anymore. It would be happening right here, right now. And what's most special for me is staying over afterwards to try to meet and greet everyone who came take pictures, sign autographs, whatever, exchange a little bit of banter with everybody who came. I, I live for that. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more?
make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.